Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. See these clamps on this box right here? These are called integral clamps. They're integral to the box. They're built into the box. And see, here I have a cable coming in through this clamp. You see, it makes this move up a little bit so that there's a little less space in this box. In the 2020 NEC code, they talk about interior clamps have to be added to the total volume that you can have inside a box. And they talk about exterior clamps that do not have to be counted. My question to you is, do you think that this clamp right here, this integral clamp, is considered to be an interior clamp in the 2020 NEC? Because we need to know when we do box fill calculation, we need to know if this is counted as an interior clamp or not. We need clarity. Let's look in the actual 2020 NEC code and let's look for clarity on this. Here we are at 2020 NEC 314.16 B2. Clamp fill. Where one or more internal cable clamps, whether factory or field supplied, are present in the box, a single volume allowance in accordance with table 314.16b shall be made based on the largest conductor present in the box. No allowance shall be required for a cable connector with its clamping mechanism outside the box. Here's table 314.16b, volume allowance required per conductor, and you see where it says 12 AWG conductor, which is what we had in our box example, you go over to the cubic inches area, it says 2.25. So that's our volume allowance required per conductor. And if you have a clamp that is an interior clamp, you have to add 2.25 to the total box volume fill. Here's a box that I think we can all agree has internal clamps. So you would have to add a single volume allowance for these clamps for box fill calculations. I think that most would agree that these clamps are exterior to the box. They're not interior clamps. They're not integral clamps. Most of the clamp is outside the box. So I believe that we would call these exterior clamps and not include them in box fill calculations. Here are some clamps that are interior clamps and I think we would all agree they are interior clamps and should be included in box fill calculations. Here's a little clamp that I feel would be an exterior clamp because most of it is actually outside of the box. This one could be a little controversial though. And here we are pretty much right back where we started from with a plastic box that has integral clamps except that it's a 4x4 square box instead of a round box. But it has the same question. Are these clamps to be counted in box fill calculations? In my prep work for doing this video, I found that about 50% of people on the internet in general think that these integral clamps should be counted as box fill, and about 50% think they shouldn't be. And the main argument for the people who feel they shouldn't be is that the manufacturers of these boxes have already included these integral clamps in their box fill calculations. And the main argument that the people have who feel they should be included are that they're interior clamps. You know, they're not exterior clamps. You gotta call them interior. I feel about 50% of the people. For my personal opinion, I don't think that these integral clamps should have to be counted for box fill. However, as a licensed electrical contractor, I'm going to use them for box fill because I don't want to flunk any inspections. And that is just not something that I would want to get into an argument with with an inspector. So I'm going to count them as interior clamps. So what's your opinion? What do you think? What's your interpretation of the code? We just went over it. We saw a bunch of examples of boxes. And what do you think? I'll be interested to see your comments in the comment section. I'll put links in my video description for the spiral bound NEC code book and the NEC handbook. And I will put in my video description as well 
a link to my playlist for EMT bending. I have 24 videos on EMT bending, and I'll put a link for my playlist for NEC code videos, which there's a lot of those. I don't know how many, but there's a lot of them. So thank you very much, and I hope this video was helpful.